What's going on guys, Ryan with Daily Patrol, back with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a custom ARC Trooper 5's. Let's roll. That's right guys, we're back. Today I have a custom ARC Trooper 5's from ARC 15 Custom. And I'm actually super excited to share this with you. I've had it for a few weeks now, just kind of messing around with it. Uh, yes, I've already broken something on it, and I'll tell you more about that in just a few, because honestly, it's, it's, it's my own fault, so there's that. But you guys may or may not know that Sideshow Collectibles years and years ago, I think 2012 through 2014, made uh, Art Troopers. They made Art Trooper 5s, they made Art Trooper Echo, uh, and those figures right now are going through the roof. Some of them I've seen sell for like $1,000 for that figure uh, for Echo or 5s. Mainly Echo. I don't know why, but Echo seems to be more popular in the price range. Um, but uh, those are figures that, honestly, I wanted back in my collection. I had fives. I've never owned Echo. Um, what, it's been many years since I've had those. Um, but I kind of wanted those back. And with all the Star Wars Clone Wars hype, uh, I was kind of looking for some more clones to add to the collection. And I have added quite a few, honestly. And I'll share more about that. And maybe in an upcoming collection video, maybe. We'll see how that goes. Um, but uh, I saw R15 Custom on Instagram. I reached out to him and said, hey, look, I'd like to take a look at one of these things. So just full disclosure, I did not pay for this. I'm going to give you my upfront honest review. Uh, they have not seen the review. They don't know what I'm going to say. They have no input on what I'm going to say. I'm just going to tell you like it is. Uh, so first off, let's take a look at the way this thing looks. And honestly, the paint applications are really good. I, I really I was impressed. I wasn't expecting the paint applications to be as good as they are for, for a custom um, trooper. Uh, but I do quite like them. There are some things I don't like. We're definitely going to get into that. And I guess I could go ahead and show you this. that the It comes with a backpack that I broke. Um, I'm actually trying to glue it right now. And uh, I'll show you that. But here's the, uh, here's the backpack. Uh, that it comes on there, and I actually dropped it, and it broke right here, and it broke up here. So there's some super glue there. So I'm sure if I turn it upside down, that's going to fall apart. I need to do a better job of that. But I mean, you can take a look at the paint applications on this. I think it did a just a fine job. Nice washing. There's multiple layers of paint. I mean, you can definitely tell that there are definitely multiple layers of paint going on here. Uh, it is held on by magnets, and that is one of the things I definitely want to talk about uh, in just a second. But there's the backpack. It does come with one as soon as this one's glued back together and safe. Uh, I will put it back on the figure. Uh, but the figure itself comes with uh, the backpack, if you get this guy. It comes with an, a magnetic, there's a lot of magnets, a lot of magnetic a antenna, which is a pretty neat feature. I kind of dig that. Uh, you can maneuver that around. Uh, that antenna does come packaged separately. I will tell you the way it was packaged uh, was very secure. So I don't have any issues with that. Uh, shipping was relatively fast um, for me. I didn't pay for the shipping, so I don't know what kind of use, but it got here in a timely manner. Uh, and it does come with uh, some blaster pistols. Let's see if I can get these out of here. Uh, it does come with two blaster pistols, and there they are. There's one of them right there, and they're just fine. They look they look good. Nice little silver wash going on on the sides, and uh, yeah, I think these are pretty good. They do come with two of them. Uh, they go in as holsters. You can have them going like that. Hands-wise, not a whole lot of hands. What you see is what you get. It looks like we get uh, a, pretty much a, uh, I guess, a blaster holding hand and another just a gripping hand. Uh, so not a lot of hands. So the good thing is, though, the good thing is, uh, you can just interchange hands. You can get some more hands. You can go back and buy some uh, just Stormtrooper hands, uh, Clone Trooper hands, and switch them out. I don't think you have any issues with that. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can have some fun with that. So there's that. All right. So let's take a look at this. So one of the interesting features of this guy uh, is actually the head. The helmet is very nicely painted. You can see right there. Uh, the way he attached it, I think is interesting. It's not one I have seen before. I haven't seen any style like this. I'm gonna take this antenna off before I break it. I uh, don't wanna break something else. But the way it's attached, it's it's a it's a printed, I'm, I'm assuming resin printed because the, the backpack was resin printed. Uh, resin printed. And then without taking the whole thing off, See how that's attached in there? So it's uh, it's attached. There's a, a ball joint on the neck there. And then there's this, I don't know, this cylinder. And then this sits on top of this. So this is very, very loose. Very loose. So I think a an improvement on that would have been maybe some foam. 
maybe that would make that a little tighter. It, it doesn't really matter. I mean, when you're looking at it on the shelf or on your display, I don't think you would ever know. But for posability purposes, it's very loose. Uh, so I think some foam in there that would expand and fill that cavity in the helmet would give it some more rigidity. So that's something I'm probably going to end up doing. Uh, but I do really like the sculpt. I think did a fine job on the paint applications. It's got that signature uh, Arc Trooper fin that they carried over from the Phase 1 helmet. Um, the uh, glass on there, I think that looks fine. And overall, I think you did a really fine job painting it. I just think that right there is an area that should be improved or could be probably pretty easily customized uh, when you get yours in hand if you decide to pick one up. He does have his pauldron. He does have this. This is all one piece you can see right there. Uh, it's painted just like so you can see that head doing, doing its thing. Uh, and then he's got this guy right here, which is actually attached. I think he's, this is either this is printed together as one piece or that's glued on. I can't really tell. Uh, but either way, I don't plan on taking it off anyways. But check out the paint applications. Look at all the battle damage on this guy. Uh, the blue is a very vibrant blue. When, when we compare it to a Hot Toys 501st, you'll see the difference. Uh, it is very vibrant blue. And this guy definitely stands out on the display. Uh, you can see the markings and all the battle damage stuff going down through the arms. It's got all the correct uh, armor pieces. It's got, I mean, just, it looks great to me. The comma down here with the paint applications on that, I think that looks fine. There's no wire in here. This is just one thin piece of something, uh, but it looks fine. If you have the Sideshow one, I believe the Sideshow one is fairly thick uh, and kind of a pain. This one is pretty easy. On the back, you can see kind of where I broke things. So the way the backpack attaches is there's two magnets. There's a magnet here, magnet here. I've already contacted them. I said, look, those magnets probably should be a little bit stronger. And I think he's already made that change. Uh, but don't hold me to that. That's just something we discussed. But they do hold on by magnets and you don't really have to uh, do anything other than that. I think it looks pretty good. And then over here on the side, if I get this arm out of the way, here is our uh, holster. Our pouches on the front, the belt is awesome. And uh, really the appearance of this guy looks quite good. It really does. So I, I kind of dig this. Now the legs, look at these guys. This is what I'm talking about. The paint application on here and all the, the damage, uh, very, very well done. As far as uh, range of motion goes, that's one area I, I think can be improved. Uh, the body on this one is a bit looser than I would prefer. Um, it will stand on its own, but it's a little finicky. Um, it's not by any means a, the loosest six scale figure I've ever owned. It's, it's not that. Uh, but I do think uh, the body uh, could use some improvement on that as far as that. And that might be something you could uh, do yourself. Maybe you could replace that body. Uh, I don't know how difficult that would be. And maybe that's something I'd try because I do have some extras uh, in the collection. That might be something I mess with, uh, along with this uh, this head connection thing. Um, but, I mean, if you just put this guy on the shelf, and you got him standing right there, it looks pretty badass. I mean, it really does. It looks awesome. In fact, if I grab a uh, follow it first, let's see, uh, we'll grab, how about you? We'll grab you. Check out the color differences in this guy's. Look, I mean, I'll get a little closer for you. But you can see the color differences on the 501st Hot Toy figure and the vibrant blue that's going on with the Arc Trooper stands out. So they're doing Echo and their fives are doing some other customs as well. Some other, there's just a lot. You can kind of choose whichever one you want. Um, but I wanted to showcase this to you guys and thought maybe you might want to check them out. If you want to pick one of these up or check out anything on their Instagram, definitely do. I'll put a link for it. Uh, in the description, and you can just message them and say, hey, look, I'm interested in this or interested in that. Uh, turnaround time was fairly quick for a custom project. Didn't really have any issues with that, and uh, I kind of dig it, but I'm, uh, I'm I'm pretty pleased to have another art trooper in the in the house. Uh, the armor, as, as far as range of motion, guys, is typical on clone armor. Like, it's you're going to you're gonna have some issues bending and running into armors and whatever, uh, but there's there's nice double bends everywhere. Um, the legs are fairly, I mean, not that a clone trooper would do such a thing, but it's fairly flexible, right? Uh, not really issues with that. I just think that the body is a little, it's not falling over, 
right? But it's a little looser than I would prefer. If you are used to like a hot toy body or a fiber first body, this is going to be a little different. Um, if you have an older Sideshow Collectibles clone trooper, then you probably got some pretty good idea of what this thing is like. And uh, I don't think it would be terribly difficult to replace the body, but that might be something I want to do. The hands themselves, if you want to check those out, um, this is how they're connected right there. Just a normal, uh, some kind of peg. I don't really know. It looks like he's customized that just a touch. Uh, but I don't imagine that would be too difficult to change out. Uh, and uh, you can actually find, I found some, some Sideshow um, Arc Trooper hands. Found some and I bought them. So they're on the way. So we're going to try to figure out how we can mess with that. Uh, and that might be something they offer in the future. But as far as a custom goes, I kind of dig it. Now, will Hot Toys make the Arc Trooper 5s and Echo? I don't know. I mean, they showcased us Jesse, which was amazing. So fingers crossed they're going to do that. But if they don't, there's some custom makers out there like R15 Custom making stuff like this. So you can decide for yourself this is something you might be interested in. Reach out to them. Uh, it might be something you want to check out. I don't know. I don't know exactly where they're at on their pricing and stuff. Um, but I think you got to make the decision for yourself if you want something that's going to look quite as badass as this guy. So if you guys like this, check them out in the description below. If you did like this kind of content, please let me know by subscribing, hit the thumbs up, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, click what you like. See you next time.